Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. We're going to have a look and see what's going on for you at this time. What is being highlighted, brought to your attention, and what kind of developments you can expect to see happen. I have busted out my summer deck because why not? The summer holiday tarot. Um, because it keeps on going. <laughs> it keeps on going. Especially here in the UK, we've just been having some record temperatures and I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't mind the rain. Okay, the Hierophant. Taurus energy commitment on the mind, family dynamics, tradition. We'll see what else comes out. What's the weather like where you are? Like that's a typical conversation for for Brits talking about the weather because it's so it's just all over the place usually. You know, like I've gone, I've seen days where I've gone through all four seasons almost. Like you always have to have sunglasses and umbrellas in your bag when you go outside because you just don't know. But I like it. I, I quite enjoy that. But uh, yeah, everyone just talks about the weather. It's a nice, you know, safe topic, isn't it? So what's the weather like where you are? Is it boiling hot? I hope everyone's okay and everyone is safe. I hope it's not, you know, anything... Because it can cause all sorts of things, can't it, in the weather? All right, I don't know why I'm talking about the weather. <laughs> but here we go. Pisces, let's see what's going on for you at this time. Thank you all very much, as always, for showing up, for liking videos, sharing them, for commenting, sharing your stories, your feedback with me, and for subscribing to the channel. Eight of Pentacles. Didn't want to come out. All right. Feel free to watch any other video on the channel. Stay tuned for a weekly Emmy Duo You versus Them as well. And what's going on for Pisces at the time they watch this video? Okay. We are ready. Okay. This is the situation that's being highlighted for us at this time developments we can expect to see happen okay <laughs> back of the cards nice beach okay bottom of the deck the nine of pentacles did you have the nine of pentacles yesterday or the day before i can't remember um at the bottom of the deck independence self-sufficiency being single ready to mingle investing in yourself spending time and money on yourself with the nine of pentacles rewards are coming in for your efforts personal business taking off personal projects taking off it could be taking some time off and just enjoying yourself. It could be makeover energy for some of you. <clears throat> Sorry, but you've either reached a milestone that allows you to do this, to just take some time for yourself and chill and invest in yourself, do a wardrobe change for some of you. I'm seeing like doing stuff around the house, changing furniture, that sort of thing. Um, or you've come out of something, maybe with some money or maybe with some resources, with some assets, um, and now you're looking at, okay, what do I want to do for myself now, okay? So let's see, current situation, the Knight of Swords. Things moving quickly can be a bit of chaos, conflict, but there's also a bit of a rush energy with this. In the challenge, the Four of Swords. I feel like someone's making up for lost time, Pisces. Someone wants to make up for lost time. The challenge with the Four of Swords is there's been a lot of time waiting, contemplating, healing potentially, you know, but it feels like someone is rushing in because they're not sure they still have a chance, okay? Because too much, either too long has passed or uh, they've taken too long to figure out what they want to do or they've taken too long to set things up in such a way where they can come towards you and that could be with a job, with a proposal of sorts, with an offer of sorts, okay? Or you've extended an opportunity or an offer to them and they took their sweet time figuring out what they wanted to do um, and then preparing for it. And so now they're thinking, I don't even know if Pisces, if the offer is still on the table, basically. And so it feels like someone is now feeling ready with the Nine of Pentacles. Either they're out of something and they can come your way or they've worked on themselves and now they feel like, okay, I got stuff to offer now. Let's see. 
and the foundation, the moon, yeah, could be dealing with another Pisces, Cancer energy. Um, this is about cycles, okay? So I feel like someone had to complete a cycle in order to start something new, and it took them a while. Um, for those of you, there's a lot of emotion here that has not been addressed, it hasn't been spoken, um, revealed, released, okay? Um, and there's again, there's this energy of, I don't know if my window of opportunity is passed with Pisces. If the roles are reversed, you take it as it makes sense to you. Eight of Swords in the recent past. Someone was stuck, Pisces. Someone either felt stuck or was stuck, bound by contract, bound by promise, commitment, circumstance, um, which is why. So it's almost like they were stuck. They felt stuck where they were and they were watching you kind of walking by and thinking, oh my God, I'm losing Pisces, okay? My window of opportunity is closing with Pisces and I'm still stuck over here. So I feel like someone was in a bit of a tangled mess. And this could also be you, Pisces, where you conquered your fears because your fears were holding you back. But we'll read the scenarios as they come up. And you've done healing and worked on yourself and you're like, I'm ready to go. I'm getting myself out there. I'm starting some new stuff in my life, you know? On the mind, the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, here's that offer, that opportunity, that conversation. Something that was presented, but it wasn't assist insisted upon. <clears throat> My voice is kind of shaky. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's, it's almost like it was said once and then it wasn't brought up again because you were supposed to figure out what you wanted to do with it. And so the other person or the company they were talking to or whatever, they didn't insist, they didn't push it, they didn't follow up, you know? It's like, well, we, we've said what we needed to say, but, but it's up to Pisces, you know? And so now they're like, I'm ready to come accept this offer. I'm ready to tell you I wanna accept this offer and invest with you, or I'm ready now to make you an offer and meet you in the middle match your offer you know so what's happening today we have the ten of cups oh lovely we have the nine of cups and the chariot yes cancer energy cancer scorpio pisces energy pisces stuff is happening today <laughs> okay stuff is happening with the chariot uh travel could be significant but this is someone taking the bull by the horns this is someone being direct and expressing all the emotion that has been pent up. Nine of Cups with the Ten of Cups. For some of you, this is someone expressing feelings to you, expressing love to you, but it's in a way where it's not a page, right? It's not kind of teetering upon around the sub. This is someone with the chariot and the Nine of Cups in your face, making it clear. It's still emotional in nature. It's not the Page of Swords where they're just kind of throwing it at you. Um, but someone is opening up everything they've been holding back, okay? So a very significant conversation could be happening. This could also be an invitation. This could be going out on a date. This could be planning to do so. If it's job related, this is where, again, there's a confirmation coming in that enables you to celebrate the end of hard times is the way I hear it, okay? If it's to do with your job or your money or your business even. This could be an investor showing up. The contract of sorts. But yeah, that's the feeling that I'm getting with this Pisces. Making up for lost time. Either you're doing so or someone else is doing so. But... um because they're not sure if the offer is still on the table, if the window of opportunity is still open. And they're going to find out, and it's, it's still available, you know, and it's a coming together, it's a celebration, the end of hard times. So let's get more cards out here for Pisces. Let's see what else we got going on. The Knight of Swords in the current situation, the Seven of Pentacles. I'm telling you, someone has been taking forever to figure something out, to figure out how, figure out how to get out of something, first of all. And I feel like once they were out of something, they looked at what they had to offer and they thought it's not good enough for Pisces. That's what they told themselves. You didn't tell them that. That's what they told themselves. It's not good enough for Pisces. I can't go to Pisces with this. 
Pisces deserves more. Pisces deserves better. Okay. Four of Swords. Lovers. This is someone who has been taking time to work on themselves. To heal. To recover. Because they recognize that they could have a really beautiful partnership with you, Pisces. They recognize that you're a perfect match to them. And they said, I can't go to Pisces in my current state. If I just got out of something, I can't go to Pisces like this. I don't want that to be a rebound thing. Because it can happen. No matter what feelings are involved, if we rush something without you know, processing and releasing baggage, it will turn into a rebound thing, no matter what the potential is. you know, Or that's what this person was thinking. Or you, whoever this is. And for others, this is where someone got out of a, a situation or a contract and they had perfect clarity of what they wanted and they made a, a promise to themselves not to accept anything less. And so they've been waiting for the right opportunity. They've been waiting for the right job. They've been waiting for the right contract. They've been waiting for the right collaboration opportunity. Because whatever they got out of taught them not to settle, that it's not worth it when it's not. And maybe they've been waiting for quite some time Okay, but here it is. The moon and the foundation, the ten of swords. Yeah, someone definitely has gone through a lot. Uh, definitely a painful ending. Something that was kind of just drug out, you know what I mean? And I'm seeing some deep wounds here. Emotional wounds with the moon and the ten of swords. And this person recognized it. And they said, I can't turn up to Pisces like this. Or any other relationship for that matter. Or any other commitment for that matter. Okay? Um, I get a sense with this person that they just had to go on faith. They said, you know what? I need to heal. I need to recover. If this is truly the partnership that I think it could be, I believe that, you know, it will still be there when I'm ready. And we can come together and it can be healthy and stable and long-lasting okay in the recent past with the eight of swords the star yeah this is where someone freed themselves this is where someone healed felt like because we're never healed you know like 100 percent. but this is like someone feeling confident someone feeling happy and hopeful again someone feeling free someone feeling so i feel like whatever commitment they had whatever responsibilities they had wrapping up a commitment if they were stuck in court, if they were stuck going through divorce and it was challenging, if they were stuck getting out of a contract and it was challenging. This is where it recently, it was completed, it was concluded. And it gave them the boost of confidence and it gave them the hope and excitement and enthusiasm, okay, with the star and the nine of pentacles to be like, I'm ready to go see Pisces now. I'm ready to have that conversation with Pisces now. On the mind, the page of pentacles, the five of wands, yeah, this is someone who's not, they're like, I'm going to, I'm going to make the best offer I can, but I don't know what else Pisces has got going on. You know, like who else is involved? I don't know if Pisces is seeing anyone else, dealing with anyone else, if anyone else has been making offers to Pisces, but this is someone facing their fears and saying, you know what, I'm just going to have to make the best offer I can and hope for the best. Okay. But for some of you, you are dealing with other offers on the table. So you've got some choices. And in the outcome, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, the Chariot, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. It's a timing issue. It's a timing issue. They've been planning. The Four of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords is a plan, as a strategy. And the Wheel of Fortune is just saying that now it's time to act on it now it's time to get going okay something significant could be happening on a tuesday we're at 10 o'clock because it's quite specific but this is someone who is enacting a plan to come your way to meet you in the middle to make you an offer to accept your offer and what else for pisces Three of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. This is what they've left behind. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. 
they've been burdened dealing with this person. It could be a spouse, ex, family member, ex manager. They've been dealing with this for a long time. It's been a heavy burden to them. They've been self sacrificing in this situation. And that's what they're coming out of. What else on this? Yeah, Six of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. Okay, I just wanted to clarify to see if the old was still in the picture. It is not. They may try to come around, but this person is very uh, closed off to them. Their back is turned because they're more preoccupied with making you an offer, Pisces, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. And opening up and speaking up about their feelings, about what they want, what they have to offer, their intentions. Look at it. And you had the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Swords recently as well. Okay. Three of Cups at the bottom of the, at the top of the deck, technically. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, King of Wands, Six of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, some of you have options and you're going to have to make a choice which one you want to go with. But this is definitely someone seeing you as long-term potential, like the full package. You have Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Empress. Those are all Empress energy at different levels. Someone sees you as the full package, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, someone sees a future with you and they want to make it known and they want to make it clear that that's what they want. They want to give to this where before they couldn't or chose not to for whatever reason. I feel like an earth sign is getting left behind because we have five pentacles here with the justice card. The decision is made, okay? Someone has been stuck in a situation wanting to be in a different situation. They're getting out of it. They got out of it actually they've been focused on their healing either because they didn't feel good enough for you or they didn't feel like what they had to offer was good enough or they just needed a minute because this was difficult ten of wands ten of swords three of swords okay that healing has been completed to a point where they feel ready to go for this they're they're excited about it they want to come talk to you to see if the offer is still on the table they want to come talk to you uh, to clear the air, to clarify what's been going on, to tell you about how they're feeling. Um, this is something they've been planning for quite some time, but it's a case of I can't have that conversation until I have this final, whatever this is, and resolved. And that's what's happening today, Pisces, okay? And remember, time is fluid, time and energy. I mean, for some, this has already happened. For others, it, it's happening as we speak. And for others, it will be coming up in the next few days, okay? So just keep in mind about that. Um, but someone is enacting a plan to come to you to make up for lost time, okay? And hopefully, they, they're very hopeful that you'll, they still have a chance, okay? Whatever the situation is. So that's what I see, all right? If it's in love life, someone had to get out of a, a relationship, it's been difficult, it's been challenging, this person won't let them go away, they caused issues for them, they caused problems for them. They slowed everything right down. It knocked their confidence, their money. They're out of it. It's final. They've been working on themselves. They've been healing and preparing to come your way because they wanted to make the best offer that they could and they didn't feel good enough for a long time. Now they do. They're coming your way. There's going to be a, a conversation. It's going to be very clear. I feel like it's a situation where... Hold on. I'm trying not to sneeze. I'm taking that as confirmation that we're on the right track. And what I'm saying is correct. I don't want to sneeze in my mic, for God's sake. Okay. Sorry. Um, sneezing could be a confirmation for you, Pisces. That's random, but there you go. Um, there's going to be a very clear conversation. And I'm seeing, I was saying, what I'm seeing is you just sitting down on a chair or something. And they just saying, can I just get it out? And um, let me get it all out. And then you say what you want to say. Right, something along those lines, because someone has been planning what to say, how they're gonna say it, and it's almost like, just let me get it out the way I've planned it and thought it out, and then you can tell me what you think, okay? And they're gonna tell you everything. There may be tears, there gonna be happy tears. All right, but that's what I'm seeing. For um, those of you where this is going on in work, I see there has been the loss of a job, it impacted you very badly. Uh, your finances, maybe it took you a long time to find a job and you felt the sense of rush and pressure because obviously you still have bills to pay and all that. 
Um, you might have been living with friends, family, and it turned into a stuck situation. It turned into a bad situation. There may have been conflict, chaos, but you were stuck. There was nowhere else you could go. Um, you were waiting for the right opportunity. That is coming in and it's getting you out of the chaos, okay? And it's enabling you to stand on your own two feet again. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Chariot, okay? So expect good news communication to do with the perfect job coming in, uh, the, the perfect home being made available to you, the money you need for it coming into you, okay? The help, the support you needed to, to get yourself in that new dynamic is coming to you, okay? And you can finally leave, move, walk away, start your life, your new beginning, start fresh. Because whatever, I do see a situation where either someone tried to offer you help, but it's turned into a controlling situation, right? They were controlling you because they were helping you. And that's just wrong, but that's what you've been dealing with. And it's almost like you had no other choice. Your hands were tied uh, until you found something else and you've been constantly looking and it's coming in, okay? Um, if this is like a manager, micromanager, same thing, it's like I can't quit my job because I got bills to pay and a family to take care of. So you just kind of kept searching and kept applying and tried to, you know, keep yourself at ease, at peace and sane and healthy as much as you could. And now you've got the new opportunity coming in. You won some sort of application process, okay, if that's the case. And you, you can plan, okay? You can plan your transition to your new beginning because you maybe you have like four to six weeks notice to give and stuff like that, right? Um, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Either way, it's the end of hard times that I do hear that, okay? Um, if you're starting something new for yourself because you've healed from something, whatever it is, and you're feeling confident, hopeful, and excited again, um, go for it go for it make healthy choices and just be mindful of the past coming back or trying to sabotage anything and that could be past fears things you used to say to yourself when you weren't feeling good about yourself that sort of thing k7 of swords self-sabotage but a big change is happening with the wheel of fortune for the better okay so let's see what your oracle energy and advice is for this but yeah making up for lost time big change big conversation okay. moonlight yeah number 51 things being revealed things being revealed communication coming in transformation Again, we have that, um, I almost said time turner. Oh, Harry Potter fans, hi. Um, what is that? What's it called? I can't remember. I just keep hearing time turner. <laughs> but tell me what's it called. I don't even know anymore. Um, but yeah, things will be revealed. Could be a conversation happening at night for some of you. But it's definitely emotion being expressed. Oh, look at it. Eight come together. Emotion being expressed, hearts opening up, coming together with the, the right person, the right circumstance, the right dynamic that will be healthy and long lasting. Okay, with the number eight there. For some of you Pisces, this is someone who's been waiting for you. They may not have told you that, not to put pressure on you, or vice versa. Anything else for Pisces on this? Anything else for Pisces on this, that one. Ride the wave, number 14. Could be another water sign you're dealing with, but there's gonna be a wave of emotion coming to the surface. Either someone is expressing feelings and you're, you're matching their feelings, or this is a wave of emotion in terms of celebration, true celebration, tears of joy at news communication confirmation and it's truly the end of hard times I, I hear that very strongly okay spirit of place number four communication confirmation 
a new place, a new dynamic. This is a blessing type energy, a new home for some of you. Transformation is what I'm getting off of this. Okay. So Pisces, let me know. Let me know what you got going on today. For some of you, this will be unexpected though. With the Wheel of Fortune, I will say that. It's a case of uh, you thought, the way you thought of it is it would be nice if that happened, but you weren't holding your breath because a lot of time had passed, right? Or has passed. And so for some of you, it will come out of the blue and it will hit you like a wave because it'll just keep coming. You know what I mean? It's like a dam is opening up. Um, and I do see that conversation of just let me get it all out and then you can say what you want to say because someone has been thinking about it, planning it, and they have to get it out the way they thought about it and planned it, okay? Um, or there's a presentation. Someone's giving you a presentation, you're giving a presentation, right? It could be that, right? But either way, it results in you coming together with something or someone that I feel like you may have felt not good enough for before. Three of Cups again, celebration, date. or you didn't feel ready for before, or you felt like it wasn't accessible to you before somehow. Okay, Let's do your yes or no. You can always pause the video, guys. Someone said, give me warning before you flip the cards over. Um, oh, you can always pause the video. When you see me picking up this deck and I'm, say, I'm telling you we're gonna do the yes or no, take that as your warning, okay? Uh, pause the video, think of your question, phrase it in a way where it needs a yes or a no answer, and then pick a number between one and three. I recommend you pick one number since we're being so specific. But if you do feel drawn to multiples, pick multiples, you might get confirmation, okay? Um, so it's, let's see, is it gonna be a yes or a no for Pisces? Is it gonna be a yes or a no for Pisces? What do they need to know? Show them clearly. Is it a yes or a no for Pisces at this time? The question on their mind. Okay. So these are still general, all right? Um, if you're not sure how to take the guidance or if you feel like it doesn't apply, or if you feel like it doesn't make sense to you, just take the answer, take the yes or the no, okay? Because um, I think someone also made a comment saying it doesn't really make sense. If the, the additional guidance doesn't necessarily apply or doesn't necessarily make sense, just take your answer as the yes or the no, okay? Um, but other than that, let's get going. If you chose number one, your answer is yes, what you're waiting for is coming. What you're asking about is uh, going to happen. If you're wondering if you should go for something, the answer is yes. Sorry, I'm drinking coffee. Hopefully you can't hear it. Um, yes, you are ready. I do hear that very strongly as well. If you chose number two, your answer is maybe. I feel like there's still, um, it's like 50-50. Okay, show you the card. Um, you need, uh, or you could do with some additional support, a helping hand, something external. I feel like that's what's gonna push things in your favor. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to open up uh, or to accept help if it's being offered to you because that, that'll be the deciding factor, okay? Pushing things in your favor. Uh, or just speeding things up, okay? Because you can do this on your own. It's just going to take a long time. And the longer it takes, the more things could go wrong is the way I'm, I'm picking up on this. So if you ask for or accept help, support, and that could be someone's advice. It doesn't have to be someone actually giving you something, a, a physical thing, or helping you, driving you somewhere, picking you up, or whatever the case may be. It could just be someone's advice, okay? That's going to be the, the factor that pushes things in your favor and speeds things along to develop in a positive way for you, okay? Hope that makes sense. And then if you chose number three, your answer is yes. Up there. Um, get ready to hit the ground running, number three. Get ready to hit the ground running. This is definitely, it could be tied to today's reading. Uh, I see a, an energy of coming in fast and you're going to have to like match the speed and keep going, okay? Something is coming in with momentum, especially if something's been paused, delayed, blocked, 
there's distance to cover, there's thing, time to make up for somehow. Um, this is coming in, it's coming in fast, there's an unexpected al um, element to it, um, but you're gonna have to basically get ready to jump on that horse with this person and keep going, okay? Because the momentum has, it's, it's important not to stop the momentum, okay? So when this comes in, it's important to embrace it, go with it, because like I said, it's something you've been hoping for and expecting and waiting for, right? So you know it's coming, or hopefully you were hoping it's coming. So it's important when this come in to, comes in to just get on board and keep going, right? Keep that momentum going because um, it'll help you reach your goals faster somehow, okay? It's healthy. Don't let doubt hold you back. Don't let fear hold you back, okay? So that is what I have for you today, Pisces. I hope the ring makes sense. I hope that it helps you, all right? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what it's about for you. Uh, what kind of conversations you're having. For some of you, you've got no clue, you're going to have to let me know when it does happen because you don't see it coming. Um, but it's very positive. It's very positive, okay? So um, I'm looking forward to your thoughts. As always, thank you again for liking the video and sharing it and for subscribing. Um, let's have an absolutely fantastic day. See what happens. Wheel of Fortune, let's see what happens. Um, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.